Hi everyone, welcome to Channeling Love. My name is Diane and I'm going to do your angel message for today. So I'm going to start again with a message from the little book of daily guidance and the message that I was given is 104, choose your experience. Today love is all around you and so is fear. Which one will you choose to allow in? At this time, you will see quite clearly how your mind can choose and dictate your experience. Be mindful of this and decide what you want to experience more. Okay, so it's about deciding whether we want to experience love or whether we want to experience more fear and anxiety. So what do we focus on? What are we going to focus on? We know this. We know there are two wolves. Which one are you going to feed? We, you know, this is a meme that's been going around for quite a while but the message is saying is asking us what would we do today if we loved more or if we wanted to receive more love what would you do if you loved yourself more train yourself to expect love wherever you go and you will soon begin to conquer fear so yes there are always weird things happening with fearful people who say ridiculous things. There are things, stuff just happens sometimes. But there are also really kind people, loving people who go out of their way to give us a smile or to a kind word. You know, that does come back both ways. We're not always the ones who are giving. Sometimes it does come back to us, but have we trained ourselves to only notice when something happens that is not loving? So today, the theme is going to be all about how we can notice more love or how we can love ourselves more, how we can become more aware of the love vibration and move away from fear and into love. So I'm going to ask actually, first of all, how can we love ourselves more? How can we love ourselves more, Spirit? What, what do we need to know about how to love ourselves more today? Okay. So the first message I've got is, you're protected by the angels. You can love yourself more by knowing that you're protected by the angels and trying to see yourself through their eyes. If we saw ourselves the way the angels saw us, we would love ourselves so much more. We'd, be, we'd find it so much easier to think we were just the most amazing thing ever. So that might actually be a nice meditation for some people. You know, when the reading ends and, and the camera goes off and you're wondering what to do for your morning routine or for your self-care or for your meditation, which should be daily at the moment, you might want to just close your eyes and ask yourself, what would it look like? How would I look to an angel? How would I feel if I was an angel observing me, observing my life from everything I've heard about the angels, from everything I know about them, from everything I sometimes feel? You know, in some cases, you'll be aware of them. You'll know what they feel like, how they feel, or the love that they project, the love that they emanate towards us. So just ask yourself, how would it feel to see myself the way that the angels see me? How would I then perceive myself? Let's have one more card for how we can love ourselves more. Watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. So some of us are pushing ourselves too hard. Why do we feel we need to do so much? Why, what are we trying to prove? Who are we trying to prove it to? Yes, there are times when we need to be very focused and you know achieve a lot and there needs to be a lot of activity, a lot of output, but we also need to balance this with rest and with play and relaxation and this is another way that we can come to love ourselves not only by giving that to ourselves and, and taking time to enjoy life but also the very act of allowing that for ourselves will be proof that we are capable of more self-love. It's a way of showing love to ourselves. If you had a new friend that came into your life and started to drive you the way that you sometimes drive yourself, telling you to do this now, do that now, why haven't you done this yet? Why haven't you done that yet? Why isn't it perfect? Why, you know, and I'm including myself in this. This is, you know, Virgo, <laughs> Virgo 101. So if you had a friend like that who suddenly appeared in your life, that friendship, I I can guarantee would not last very well, very long. You would be able to see immediately that there was something wrong with this way of behaving and you would not be willing to accept that kind of treatment. You just wouldn't. But when you treat yourself that way, when we speak to ourselves in that way, what are we actually saying? 
that's not self-love we're not being very loving so today is a day to be really really kind to ourselves to be really loving to ourselves and that will help us to attract more love into our lives the kinder we are to ourselves the more we are able to show others that we expect kindness okay i'm gonna pick the next card that i pick will be a card that shows that tells us how we can find more love in the world how can we see more love in the world purification activates vibrant life force so for some of us we need to really think more about clearing our energy we need to use water to clear our energy whether that's in the shower whether that's by blessing the water that you drink um and that will help you to stay away from toxic thinking because when we think in a low vibratory way we are always looking for something that's going to happen to confirm <laughs> what we're thinking you know someone's going to do something ridiculous or say something ridiculous or you know be be rude to us in a shop if we clear our energy daily constantly regularly we can not only you know, obviously, we, there's work that has to be done when it comes to our thinking. We need to continue to do the work. But sometimes that negativity is the result of the energy that we've been picking up from the collective or from others. And it's not necessarily ours. So the first thing to do before you do anything else or before you panic or think this is just who I am, the first thing to do is to ask yourself, is this me? Are these my thoughts? And to make sure that you have a daily energy clearing, energy cleansing ritual. And if it's one that involves water, great. Water is a very powerful cleanser. Um, actually, I talk a lot about great techniques for clearing your energy in my um, guide. Uh, I think it's 11 great ways, uh, great energy clearing and aura cleansing tips. The link, the link is below the video. Um, so, yeah, that's another thing that will help help us to think more positively and have more positive expectations about the people we meet, the places we go and the, the things that we're likely to encounter, the experiences. So choosing our experiences sometimes just a question of changing the way we think and changing our expectations. I'm going to ask for groups one, two and three now, Spirit, please. Could you give us some more guidance on anything that they need to know today just anything because we want to be loving we want to be generous towards ourselves let's not have put any boundaries on this or any constraints or expectations let's just say what do we need what's going to nurture us what message is going to nurture us so group one pause the camera for a while while you decide which group you belong to group one count your blessings so group one, there are lots of amazing things happening for you, to you, amazing things in your life. Have you taken time to stop and notice them and really, really receive them, receive them into your being before charging off to create the next thing? It's really important for the quality of our lives, for our general happiness, that we stop and appreciate what's actually happening around us that can enrich our lives that can make us happier before we actually achieve anything else because if we don't appreciate what we already have when we manifest something new that's not going to make us happy either so just draw that into your being take time today to make a list a gratitude list a list of 10 things that you're really grateful for group two what do you need most today shine your light group two just do it. Just shine your light. Just let yourself be seen. You know, just use your gifts, connect with the world, be visible. Thank you, uh, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. That's what this is all about. Some of you are literally on fire with this, um, some kind of gift that you have, some kind of spiritual gift or a creative or artistic gift that you just still holding back from sharing with the world. And that's going to bring so much love, so much joy and so much benefit into your life, so much beauty into your life when you do. So, you know, do that. Be resilient, be uh, tenacious, be persistent. You know, if you've been getting rejections, if you've been turned down, don't, don't let that put you off. That's just the beginning of your journey. There are people, you know, actors, for example, who will set themselves a goal of, okay, I'm going to go on 300 auditions. And if nothing's happened by the end of that, that's it. I'm done. I'm no good. This isn't for me. 
you know, of course, by the time they get to 20 or, or even 10, five, in some cases, the first thing. But it's the perspective that needs to change, that we need to not be expecting miracles to happen the first time we try. If it does, that's a bonus. But decide, you know, when this uh, video ends, go and sit down and ask yourself, what is the huge action that I need to take, the huge action that I need to take before I tell myself that I'm not going to succeed at this? What are the huge steps? How many auditions do I need to go? How many job applications do I need to send? How many publishers do I need to contact before I'll say, okay, it's not happening? And it cannot be a number below 50, okay? All right, group number three, what do you need to hear today? Transformation. A huge transformation is taking place for group number three. Oops, sorry, something just slipped there. Group number three, um, give yourself time and space. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to drink more water, drink more water. You are going through a huge transformation and you need to be kind to yourself. The most loving thing that you can do sometimes is just take a few deep breaths and collect yourself and, you know, just allow yourself time to recalibrate is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. So, yeah, it's been quite a journey for group number three. And sometimes transformation is um, catalyzed by things that are a little bit tragic or a little bit unpleasant. But you're coming through it now. And the transformation is going to be great. And what you become at the end of that transformation, the butterfly that emerges, is going to be something to be something to behold. Okay, that's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that message. Thank you so much once again for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for your lovely comments. Please continue to comment, to be a part of this community, to connect, to let me know what what type of videos you enjoy, what you'd like to see more of. Um, and also let me know if you have any questions that you'd like me or my guides to answer, usually us to answer together, or maybe a channel, a question that you'd like me to address to the channeling guides that I work with, or just anything, any kind of readings that you'd like to see me do. Um, also, there are links below the video if you'd like to connect with me, if you'd like to work with me, if you'd like to um, find out about my books, guides, meditations, or how to win a free reading with me. All right, thanks again for watching, and we will be back soon. Bye.